HODs. And what can we do? We realize that the easiest way we can do less help vulnerable. And the person we identified is Jane. And this is how we said we must build the house for Jane. And when we did, when we did the application, uh, his worship, the mayor, uh, and the team at the council, they gave us the support and they gave us this land where we are today. This is how we, we, we started. We are calling this project that we must buy a brick. We say buy a brick project. We have given the target ourselves as HODs that the people who have been sponsoring Cindy to look after Jane for the past 18 years are just normal people but outside the country who are contributing. They are not rich. They are just like us who are the workers. And we said, we can change our mind as Zambians and as HODs. We'll start in Muflera. We can change the mindset that the little that we have, we can contribute. So we've been contributing monthly as HODs to build the house for Jane. Not just for Jane. We have identified three more. And we'll continue contributing monthly, all of us as HODs. So it's a teamwork. It is not individual work. It's a teamwork. And the members of Mufria, the residents of Mufria, they are on board. Those who have passed through Mufria, those who live in Mufria, they are on board. Okay, how we identified Jane is a um, um, the, the counselor for me had reported that there is a person in the state of Jane and uh, seen, uh, they approached my office that there is a vulnerable person in the state of Jane who needs uh, our help. And that's how we, we came on board to come and try and help Jane. Uh, Jane qualified to grade 10. Uh, and she has been struggling because Jane has just been living with the grandmother and uh, her parents, of them, they are late and it calls for all of us to come and, and help Jane. Uh, other stakeholders who have come from Frila have been able to contribute to this project. Uh, people like Yona uh, Ibuyam from Kanga, Yona Alexander Wayachkwanda, the Minister of Finance, the um, CEO for Zesco, Mr. Chitundu and his team have been able to contribute to what we are we are launching uh, today for, for Jet. So it is an ongoing project that we, we have a vision as a district that we must be building houses for people in the condition of Jet. We, we have about three people in the same condition of Jet. And the first one is Jet, which we are starting to build. This is a legacy project that you will be building. We want before uh, before the 24th October, we must remove the way that the window left because we want Jane to move before the rain seasons. And our target is by December, Jane must be living in a, in a new built house for her. And we are uh, 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 so thankful. This was when we received a report from the Special Education Needs Coordinator, Mrs. Chendela, who is here present today in June to tell us the discovery of Jane in Kansusua. And that is after many people had gone to visit the place and uh, taken photos, others had even requested for funds, and that those funds never reached Jane and the family. So we moved in. We presented this issue to the former town clerk, who is the patron of, of, of Cindy, and uh, the mayor of this issue. Then we moved in to do the needs assessment. And uh, we discovered that Jane was not just alone. There were three. Jane being the older, the young brother Keegan, and uh, the young sister Patricia. They were being looked after by the old lady, the grandmother, because the father and mother passed away. And uh, because of that, Jane was then doing grade 9 at um, Kansuswa Basic School. Uh, we arranged with the, 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 the administration of the school that we are going to support uh, Jane. Then we called upon the executive committee of Cindy to give that case a priority. So when Jane made it, uh, we wanted to take Jane to a boarding school. And we discovered that there was no boarding school ready to accept that condition. Mm -hmm. 
because initially Jane was in uh, the Gama sh school for the handicapped. Mm -hmm. She was brought back by the sisters, back to the mother, when Jane, uh, they, that country could, they cannot cope up. So we found, we worked with the uh, social welfare department and the, DC, the former DC to see ways and means how the Gama uh, the commercial home of the handicapped can accept that case again. They said until we find somebody who must be employed to take care specifically for Jane, which was not easy. Mm -hmm. And because of that, the headmaster for Kantan Secondary School accepted that Jane can be in that school. Therefore, we made arrangements that Jane, the brother and the sister be moved to Kantan Secondary School, that together they can help Jane in that place. The other thing we discovered that Jane was very intelligent and she loved school. And uh, that worked. The, we had no challenges in school fees, uniforms, and all other uh, education requisites. But we had a challenge transporting Jane. The first uh, transporters that we engaged we were paying 800000 per month to transport Jane and the brother every day, five days in a week and every month until last year when we had found a challenge because all transporters increased the first time i heard about uh, jen when uh, was when my my ward counselor for council came to explain the challenges that uh, jen's family is having uh, in uh, taking uh, jen to school uh, i i didn't appreciate Where she is, uh, the, the, how, how handicapped she is, which is quite a big challenge to the to the family. And then when when a request was made that uh, as council we should maybe try and help in providing uh, land where maybe we can come up with a special house for Jane. Uh, let me just emphasize before I, I go any further that the house that we intend to build here is shouldn't be just like a normal house like where we stay. All of us stay. It has to be special in such that it has to cater for the needs of, of Jane. I'm sure you've seen her condition and yes. you cannot just keep her in a house which is just like normal as the houses that we're staying in. Therefore, I request that we have on board people that will be able to help us come up with that special house after they've appreciated how, um, the, how physically handicapped uh, Jane is. So now, getting back uh, to... Uh, how we as council came in to provide land to the family of Jane was is that um, as council we are obliged to provide uh, shelter indiscriminately. We are not supposed to provide only to those that are, uh, are, are physically fit but even those that are, uh, uh, are handicapped. So um, when we looked at uh, Jane's condition we, we never uh, thought twice but had to sit down with management and uh, councillors and come up with an area which will actually be uh, good for uh, Jane, Jane's condition. Hence uh, today we are here at this uh, piece of land which is about 25 by 30 uh, which is a medium cost, si uh, uh, medium cost housing size. I'm a teacher at Mlea Winter Primary School. I basically teach special education. Um, the time that I noticed Jen was the time that I was uh, doing some attachment with site servers under the supervision of Ms. Mwale, the current uh, chairperson for PF uh, in the district. I was going to Kansuswa prim uh, Primary School, which is uh, Kansuswa Primary School now. By then it was called a basic school. I met Jen in a class <laughs> writing with <laughs> the mouth so I was amazed when I tried to find out where she was coming from I was shown the home where we have just come from for for Jen so when I went there I met the grandmother she was not agreeable actually to sit so that we could talk she chased me the first day she told me to say bon vegetar. so you just want to make money out of my grandchild I went back home and sat it caught me very much that two days later I went back. I pleaded with her to say, I don't want to see Jen. I don't want to take any pictures, but I just want to talk to you. 
So when we sat and we talked, after explaining my intention, I didn't want to take on Jane to say I'll be sponsoring her because I know I could not do such a thing. But I wanted to connect Jane to people who could at least render a help in a One important thing is that Jane is very intelligent. Jane has no limbs, but equally intelligent, more than a lot of kids we are seeing today. She is able to write using her mouth perfectly with a better handwriting than myself inclusive. What does Jen aspire to be in life? Jen wants to be a journalist. So since you are a journalist, take this up, find out more about her. She says she actually has a dream to present news because she has never seen or me a physically challenged presenting 19 hours news. So today the excitement is that my colleagues, the HODs, with our boss, the district commissioner, has taken this up, bringing the community of Mufulira you are seeing today, to come today in the sun to open this up. We thank the council for agreeing to give us this plot at no cost at all. In fact, since the mayor is here, we hear that the mayor has endorsed that Jen will never pay rates <laughs> for the rest of her life living here. And probably Mulonga will come in and say Jen will never pay for water. We don't know. And what if Zesco came and said Jen will never pay for electricity? Probably the police will also say Jen will never pay for security. <laughs> She never changed order. Nineteen ninety two, quite the Maca twenty two years. Now, five September, Chicanaba and Buya. It all does have an unmoved seven. Two years. It's one I'm doing ten zero six, grade six. The summer grade seven, grade eight, Narimba. Na pass o kamu get eight, then put na sa dem back get nine, na na pass na sa get ten, then put na sa mba pakan tanch, pala ni shidi high school ni shita bara chenga, na sa mbira kote mwa nomba sa super situation ya kwenye lam, kwa kwa i transport ya kwa i raku school, so funa ishi kwa na mumishi, mumishi na kwa mo about two years so, so muna chika bila chakua ya school, ngapa mumi yafu kwa mumishi na shida mumi yafu. Ah we, we don't have to come to finish our coffee. We are in park with Kala. We are going to go to the park with Kala. We are going to go to the park with Kala. We are going to go to the park with Kala. We are going to go to the park with Kala. We are going to go to the park with Kala. We are going to go to the park with Kala. We are going to go to the park with Kala. We are going to go to the park with Kala. Bantu sha ishiwe atu kukawa kubwa fulisho wa msangu Mwe kalesa ule tumalwa na reno Ata natuatela sana nde kukula ndi kansi Nungu pigo nsoo wale itapano Ndetu 